Hello and welcome to the Cosmic Messages channel and uh, for the month of April I'm doing things a little bit different. I'm going to do the entire month with a uh, beginning, middle, and end of the month uh, reading using three cards and one main card, one major arcana card for the main message for the month. Uh, please be aware that I do not follow astrology so if you are looking for that um, this channel will not be following astrology. I'm just using the signs as a way to categorize the readings because everybody knows their signs. So um, I'm not going to be getting in, into the actual ast astrological uh, type stuff. I'm just relying on the cards to convey a message from the universe and from the angels. So um, just be aware of that. Also, I highly recommend, so you know my background, uh, watching the intro video to the channel, the introduction to the uh, Cosmic Messages channel. Um, not many have actually watched that video, but that gives you a little bit of my background, um, some pertinent information. So if all things work well, in just a few moments, we'll be switching over to your sign uh, for your message for April 2019. So thanks for watching, and now we'll switch over. Hello, my Aries friends. So I've already uh, concentrated on the cards and put them out there. And um, the way we're going to do this uh, for April is the beginning, middle, and end of the month with one major arcana card for the, uh, the main theme for the month and one angel card that I've pulled for you. And um, what you've got for the, uh, the overseeing power, as I like to see it, the main theme for the month is you've got the Fool, which uh, is the number zero card. So it's the beginning, starting, you know, zero, one, two. Uh, and he sort of represents a new, fresh start. Uh, Follow your instincts and trust them, but uh, be a little cautious because you may be going down a, a new path. But he does represent um, a fresh new type of energy. You know, he's the fool. He's, you know, the young guy. <laughs> so starting off on something new. So let's see what that whole idea leads to. So for the beginning of the month, you've got the Seven of Wands which sort of follows that idea because uh, the Seven of Wands there represents a positive change, uh, clear thinking, <coughs> excuse me, um, moving forward. Uh, you look at the picture there, you know, he's got that look of like ready for action, you know, <laughs> ready to move forward with those wands. So that sort of follows that fool. And for the middle of the month, you got more wands, but you've got the King of Wands, which is representing ambition and goals. So that sort of follows the theme too. Um, thinking positively. Um, your, your work situation is good. Relationships are probably good. There may even be a new job coming, so maybe that's a, a sign. Maybe you're ready for a fresh start, you're moving forward, and by the middle of the month you have a new job opportunity, maybe a title change. It's, it's all positive, it's all good. But what is interesting is, for the end of the month, and this may actually fit in, so I'm going to have to see how this sort of fits in with everything else, is you've got the Eight of Cups, which isn't really following all of this. It's leaving a situation um, which is the best thing for you. Like your gut's telling you you need to leave or you need to move on and you're in your own best interest. So uh, I'm trying to piece this together because it seems like you're ready for a fresh, you know what? I'm um, I'm getting an idea 
the universe is coming through with with this idea that it is actually this all does fit together i was actually thinking that this was a good story that went bad but no it's not it looks like this fresh new energy the fool is the the force of the whole month and things are progressing and moving forward and you do have ambition and goals and you're leaving an old situation behind and it's toward the end of the month this is like a new job or a new opportunity that's coming in and you're looking forward to it and this is the point where you have to leave and this might have something to do with, actually what's coming immediately to mind is the two week notice and maybe by the middle of the month the beginning of the month you're looking forward you're having this positive clear thinking you're ready for change here's the change the middle of the month you give your two week notice and the end of the month in your own best interest you're leaving something behind and th that's what I'm thinking it's like a job situation and so some of you are uh, and, and this may be going back into March like maybe maybe this was already in your mind maybe those eight cups were already in your mind you're thinking I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave them behind I've got to do something better because it's for my own best interest and you found something. Something came along or a good opportunity. Something new and fresh. And this is the point at the end of the month where you're basically saying bye-bye to everybody. And you're telling people, like, you know, I just... For my own good. And it's not like a bad thing. It's not like you're leaving on bad terms. Or if this is a relationship, maybe you found somebody new. But I'm really getting the, the feeling of a job situation here. And... This is the point where you're just telling everyone, it was really good working with you, but I have to leave. And so I've got this great opportunity, something new, something fresh. It's, reach, it's, it's for my goals, my ambitions. It's more positive for me. And so you give the two-week notice, you say your goodbyes, and it's on good terms, but it's for your best interest. Now for your angel card, <laughs> it's kind of funny because you got patience here and patience says now is the time to learn study and gather information enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action and I think that's fitting this whole thing you're learning something new for this new position whatever newness this is this fresh start uh, and you're gonna take what you've learned in the past and that's going to help you with this new venture and as you say goodbye to everyone else you're moving forward you have the patience I mean I'm going to go literally with the with the angel card here the name is patience so we'll, we'll just go along with that and you're learning studying gathering information enjoying being a student now that that, that could mean an actual student but it could also mean you're just learning. You're, you're being a student of something new. You're learning new procedures. You're learning new, uh, you know, a new way of, uh, of how an office is run. You know, it's a new environment. And, you know, the fool is actually saying, be a little cautious. You know, um, tr uh, trust in yourself to make the right decisions and, and move forward in this new fresh start for the month so that's what I'm getting whoever's watching I hope this this works for you so this is a story of I'm really getting the idea of a, of a new job situation and you're saying goodbye to it to an old job and it's it's not on bad terms it's just moving forward it's something good for you but this could also be a relationship where it's amicable it could just be that way. Um, the the patience card there from the angels it could apply to that too. You're you're learning about a new situation. You're learning you're you're learning about someone new. Um, but the goodbye at the end of the month is not a bad goodbye. It's just 
you're moving on. You're moving forward. It's in your best interest. That is the main theme, and everything is good for you. So I'm, I'm not picking up any bad vibes here. I'm not picking up anything that's, you know, negative. It's all positive, and in order to move forward, you have to let old things go. Luckily, this isn't like a tower or a death card or, you know, um, something really bad. So everything is good here, and you're learning something new. So there you go, Aries. I thank you for watching. I hope it resonated with some of you. If not, then this reading just wasn't for you. But I thank you for watching, and have a good month of April.